oh is that the 5g lte queen coming up on your screen yes that's me sis i know it's been so long i missed you guys i hope you still recognize me you still rock with me i appreciate you if you're here but let's get into it so I wanted to give you a very textured look using Curls Curls Seamless Clip-Ins. You guys see how thin the weft is? This is a huge step up for them because again, clip-ins can be a little bit bulky and these are like undetectable. So one of the first steps that I wanted to do was co-wash the clip-ins, one, to remove any shed hairs, but to also, you know, really get the true definition of the curl pattern because when you first get it it's super tight so you want those coils and curls to relax and i just love doing this because i don't put product on my clip-ins like then we're doing too much so do a really good co-wash and deep condition and you'll be good to go now you know i'm struggle braid gang until i am no more so i braided the back of my hair but i twisted the ends i'm loving this tip for my 5G LTE hair, yes, yes, yes. It's real thick and you know, sometimes dealing with it could be a lot, but again, I'm always gonna be protective. So I just like took the ends of my hair. I kind of like, you know, crocheted them or used a latch hook to pull them through the base of the cornrow. And as for the front, sis, I took out like a little bit of hair, just a little bit and I'm using my edge booster and I'm gonna make about three braids, okay? that's all I have strength for that's all I have time for I wanted this look to be elegant I wanted to show you guys this is like a great alternative if you're someone who's heavy into crochet again if you want to kind of like pull back on manipulating your hair because over manipulation can also you know serve as a detriment to the girls who want length retention because I'm really trying to work on maintaining the health and length of my hair and I just said let me give them three braids because you know that's still a look three braids is sufficient and of course you know like one of my tricks if i'm gonna give you three braids they're gonna have to be on an angle you know what i'm saying so do one straight braid and then give two on an angle it makes it look like you did so much more than you actually <laughs> did oh before a quick little wellness check-in how are you guys doing what's going on in your world again we are still very much in a very different, perplexing, and just interesting time right now. So I wanted to take a step back from social that was very much important for my mental health. And I really wanted to figure out what I wanted to do on my platforms across the board because I have so many different talents and I am not about to let anybody put me into a box. At this point, it's going to be what I like. And if you appreciate it, I appreciate you and thank you for allowing me to express every facet of my personality and to anyone who is in this space. Let me tell you something, do what you love. Don't just do it because you need, you know, to make ends meet or you have, you know, like a financial goal and you're just doing it by any means necessary because trust me, you will get exhausted and that burnout is different. Okay, I see a lot of beautiful faces returning back to YouTube after a hiatus and I really just love to see black women reclaiming their time and taking their time and resting. I'm not going to give you that hustle grind mentality or promote that type of way of life because one thing I'm going to do is go lay down. And again, this is a really great practice. Yes, you can have goals. Yes, you can achieve them. And yes, you can prioritize yourself and your rest. I keep reiterating this because life is consistently teaching me that if you don't slow down, if you don't take your time, if you don't do what actually moves you, trust me, you will have an awakening of the sort. Now back to this hair. Now I told y'all I was gonna do like three braids. And I just slicked the rest of the hair down and I twisted the ends. Again, I don't like to do braids at the end. And I just use the latch hook to pull them through the cornrows at the back and it stays secure, it's out of the way. Really great tip. And of course, you just sat a scarf for a little bit, you know, just to set the hair. Cause again, 4C, 4Z, 5G, LTE here, it, we're different, it hits different. So just, and it's hot outside, don't play. So with the seamless clip-ins, you guys can see they're very thin at the top where the start of the weft is. And this is the clip-in with five clips, really long. And again, you can trim this down if you want to, to customize it to fit your particular style. I opted to use all of the clip-ins. And with this particular clip-in, I'm only gonna use the clips towards the end. With the smaller clip-ins, like you don't have to utilize all the clips 
but if you get to like the four clip or the five clip it is a little bit better to utilize more of the clips but again shorter wefts go towards the nape and as you move towards the crown you're just going to use the wider weft or longer weft but as you move to the crown of the head you want to utilize the longer wefts because again it spans further across the head and it just works out but think if i were to do crochet with this you know how long it would take me and plus when you use clip-ins the takedown is no time i changed my hairstyle in like 20 minutes girl it's it's a finesse season out here all i want to do is change up my look whenever i feel like it and i don't want to be you know restricted to a certain style so again a great alternative to crochet now after i secure the last weft which has the five clip-ins i wanted to fill in the gaps using the clip-ins that have just two clips those are great to use as fillers they give you fullness at the crown again it's very 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 much undetectable tees so they got that off i just wish that the wefts weren't as shiny can we can we talk about that can we work on that is that something we can you know improve because I, I just don't like the shine on it i prefer not to see the luster of the shine at the weft i feel like they could make it a little bit more natural looking you know with the texture of our hair i took a pack of hair i probably took about a third slightly more and made a braid attached it to a rubber band this is the key Cause I'm making my life easy. Y'all not gonna stress me out. <laughs> Nobody's gonna stress me out. And that's, that's word. I'm gonna take this braid, you know, for that halo style and just wrap it around. You can situate it afterwards, but the goal here is to secure it at the nape using the rubber band. And you just wanna create like a little knot. <laughs> Oh, and another thing, one thing you can expect on this channel, we're gonna be highlighting a lot of different black women within this space. So this is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. I have it linked in the description box. This is perfect. Again, I didn't wanna use any product on these clip-ins because they don't need it. They are really good, very full. I love this length. Again, if there's a coupon code, I'll link it. But this brush works perfect on my natural hair and all of my clip-in extensions, wigs, curly textures. It's everything. It detangles beautifully and volumizes the look. Now I wanted some texture because you know, I just like to play around and really just express my creative self through my hair. So I took these beads, I saw them on Amazon. You know, I'm really not feeling Jeff right now, but you know what, I saw the beads. If you guys have recommendations for beads as produced or from a black woman owned company, please drop it below. But I saw these beads, love them. And I said, let me do a two strand twist on a medium, you know what I'm saying? A medium section of hair. And then I just use a beater tool and applied them. I did like four beads. I feel like that was just enough. The more, the merrier if you want to, if that's your aesthetic, that's your look. Oh my bad, I know a lot of the girls are using the word aesthetic and typically it's not always right. No shade, we just gotta, gotta buckle down. And also I've been spending a lot of time reading, trying to educate myself, getting into discussions with people who know so much more than me and challenging my way of thinking like this is what growing looks like sometimes it's super uncomfortable sometimes you have to remove yourself and that's exactly what i did because i know that what i have to offer is not just confined to hair and i'm going to be amplifying my voice and the voices of other women who you know lend to the change the evolution the growth that i want to see reflected all over the community that i'm building so y'all better get prepared Cause honey, nobody gonna stress me out about these hair tutorials, okay? You know what I'm saying? I'll be coming with another video probably sharing more of where I'm at and just why I had to take a little bit of a hiatus because when you get a bit more mature, you open your mind, you have discernment and clarity, things just, you just see life, you see the world differently. But I wanted to add some gold jewels. Purchased these from a beauty supply store that closed. So I was very upset. Business is hard for a lot of people. So again, I'm trying to support as many people as I can, but 
I love this look. Definitely check out Curls Curls. These clip-ins, they're seamless clip-ins. They are perfect. Check for a coupon code because you know I got you. Save some coins. But yes, if you do this style, please give this video a thumbs up. Kiki with me in the comments and share with your homeboys and your homegirls. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.